Hello everybody, Kyle from Adirondack Fish Junkies today. We're going to make a little review on a bait that I purchased. As you guys know, I'm a big, big swim bait guy. Not a lot of guys in upstate New York are using big swim baits. And it's something I like to do. I like the nostalgia of it. Um, I recently came across these in runnings. This is the bait that was designed by Ben Milliken. This is a hangover. These come in, I believe, three different sinks. This is a medium sink. Then there's a fast sink and there's the slow. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this bait's performance. Some of the issues that I have with it. And some of the good things. Because there are some good things. Um, first, I want to talk about appearance. Straight out of the box, the bait feels very durable. It's got a nice paint scheme. It's got really nice eyes on it. From a glance, at first glance, this bait looks like it's going to be a good performing swim bait. Because it is very durable. It's got a decent amount of weight to it. It's very thick across the back. you think it would display some water. So from a first glance, the appearance looks amazing, right? Even the tail has some really nice you know, little details in it. I'm not sure what that's all about. My buddy has one too, and they're both they both have that little indentation on the tail guessing from the molding process so definitely a design flaw on that um so appearance wise it looks great and that's about where any positivity that i have for this bait ends i initially started fishing this bait early in the springtime i was trying to find a slow rolling bait that i could creep along the bottom that was a decent size Definitely get that large bait fish draw that you want sometimes in the colder water to get some of those bigger bites. Um, after about 20 minutes fishing with this bait, I noticed right off the get-go that no matter what I did with this bait, I could not get this thing to swim right. <clears throat> so I don't know if it's designed incorrectly or if it was rushed getting it out to the public but there's definitely something wrong with this bait and it, it really needs to be addressed especially for the amount of money you pay for these baits i can't remember exactly how much this was i think it was like 14 or 15 dollars i paid for this this bait does not kick it has this awful tendency to do a rolling action where the, the bait just literally rolls over on itself the entire retrieve the tail barely ever moves correctly it's almost like it's, it's just a design it's a design flaw really um now i have given it a fair shake and tried to do some other stuff recently the bass bite in new york has really picked up the water temperatures are going up so i wanted to give this bait another chance i've tried a couple different other techniques i've tried belly weighting it with some pencil weights I've tried attaching a treble with a hanger to the bottom to add a little extra weight on the bottom as well. I've tried burning the bait because I saw some recommendations online that said this bait was designed to be fished fast. And no matter what I do, this thing just straight up sucks. It just doesn't catch fish. It doesn't, it doesn't swim right. It rolls. I can never get the tail to kick right. I've tried boiling the tail. It did seem like boiling a tail helped a little, uh, made it a little more flimsy. So now the tail does kick like 10-15% of the time, as opposed to never like it did before. <laughs> but there's really some design flaws with this bait, and for the amount of money you pay for this bait, it's really not worth it, guys. So don't buy into the allure of it, right, because it's got Ben Milliken's name on it, and you know Ben Milliken is an amazing fisherman, he's a great YouTuber. He's doing amazing things right now in the Bass Bassmaster series. So just don't buy into it, though. I think you'll see some revisions in the future regarding this bait. They'll do some more design tweaking to make it work better. Because I think there is a lot of public outcry from swim bait fishermen about the performance of this bait. Um, it is a line through, if you guys didn't know. So your line goes in right there. Your line comes out back here. They send you a nice treble hook to go with it. 
I usually just tie it off, take the treble hook, and I usually just stick it back here. I've tried putting it up farther. I've tried putting it farther back. I've tried resting it up in here. I've tried all sorts of things. I can't get this bait to work. If you're going to go out and spend <clears throat> $14 on a bait, I will give you a suggestion of what bait, in my opinion, that's roughly the same size, has a decent amount of big fish appeal. Go and get yourself a coal shad. Cool shads are like $12 at Walmart. They swim slow. They swim fast. They are always kicking. It's just a much more productive bait than this is, honest to God. Um, like I said, hopefully in the future they do some revisions on the design of this thing and make it better because currently it is just a novelty item sitting in my tackle box. I have no use for it. I've gone to places where I've caught 15, 20 bass this year on a cool shad, and I could not get a bite on this. Those same places I fished my 8 inch mag drafts, I fished uh, the KBG Chad Chad, love that bait, amazing hard swim bait. If you guys had the money to spend on a swim bait and you want to spend getting the upper echelon a little bit, try buying a... KGB Chad Chad. It's like a glide bait, swim bait hybrid almost, honestly. You can do a lot of things with those. And the paint schemes on those are amazing too. So my recommendation is don't spend the money. Give yourself a little more time. Wait for these guys to tweak this and fix it and I mean, hopefully offer an apology to the swim bait community because this thing is honestly just a paperweight. Buy yourself a cool shed. Do yourself a favor. That's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe. I have a lot more good videos coming in the future. Um, I have a lot of clips I have to edit. So there will be some new videos coming up soon. So just subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.